Parts 13 and 14, The Flower and Gateway. The very bright wildflower stands for a wonderful person who was cut off in the bloom of his or her days. You are left behind, feeling like you are in complete darkness. But then, if you are brave enough to look up, you will see a light at the end of the tunnel. Part 13, round 91, using color C. We want to start in any of the corners in that front post double crochet stitch. We will place a single crochet in that front post double, chain two, single crochet in the same stitch. And then we're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch down the side. So that should be 222 stitches. Single crochet in each stitch with the single crochet, chain two single crochet in the corner front post double crochet. Work all the way around, join to our starting stitch and fasten off. For round 92, we want to place some stitch markers to help us work this round. So we're going to start at any of the chain two quarter spaces and then counting the single crochet, we want to skip this first seven stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to insert the stitch marker in the top of the eighth stitch and out the top of the ninth stitch. So the stitch marker is march marking two stitches, eight and nine. Then we will skip 17 stitch markers, place a stitch marker between the 18th and the 19th stitches. We'll do that 11 times down the side. So these stitch markers here are above the stars. They're around the single crochet that's in the single crochet worked in that front post stitch around the top of the star. So you can go ahead and mark those down the side and then we'll get started. So round 92 is going to use color A. We are going to start in any of these chain two corner spaces. We'll start with a half double crochet in the chain two corner. So half double crochet and then a double crochet in that same corner space, chain two, back in the same space we'll place a double crochet and a half double crochet. We're going to skip this first stitch, then we want to work a back loop, a half double crochet. And we'll do that in these next two stitches. Back loop, half double crochet. And then back loop, a single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain one. And this is the start of our repeat with this chain one. We'll skip that next stitch. And then working in the first of these two marked stitches, we're going to place a single crochet under both loops of that stitch. Chain six, we want the chains to be a little bit loose as we're going to be working back down the chains. Then on the back side of the chain, we'll skip the first two stitches and in that back bump or back loop, we will place a single crochet in that next and the next three. So that will be a total of four single crochet worked in that back loop or back bump of the chains to make a spoke. Then we'll single crochet in both loops of this next stitch marker. And then you can move the stitch marker to that chain two, those unused chains 
at the top of the spoke. Chain one, we'll skip this next stitch. Back loop only single crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. Back loop only half double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Back loop only double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Back loop only half double crochet in the next three. And then back loop only single crochet in the next three stitches. And ready to work our repeat again. So that was a chain one. Skip that next stitch. In the first of the marked stitches, a single crochet through both loops. Chain six. Then if you wish, I sometimes find it easier to place my marker around those chains at the top before I work the stitches. So skip those first two using that back bump or the third loop of the chain will single crochet in the last four chains. Single crochet through both loops of that next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch. Three back loop only singles. Three back loop only half double crochet. Three back loop only double crochet. Three back loop only half double crochet. And three back loop only single crochet. So I've worked two repeats. You'll want to do this a total of 11 times and I'll join you just before the next corner. So when you've worked those 11 repeats down the side, we want to work one more of those spokes. So it's a chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain six, single crochet in the third stitch from the hook for four in that third back bump of the chain, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one, back loop only, single crochet in three, back loop only, half double crochet, in those last two stitches of the side and then ready to work the corner again with that half double crochet oops double crochet in that corner space chain two and then that same corner stitch a double crochet and a half double crochet and remember we're skipping that first stitch of the side half double crochet in two, back loop only, half double crochet, and then back loop only, single crochet in three, and then we're ready to work those repeats again with those spokes down the side and so on. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. We will join to our starting stitch and fasten off at the end of this round. Starting in any of the chain two corner spaces, we're using color D for round 93. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that corner space. 
We'll single crochet in each of the next seven stitches, being careful not to skip the first stitch. So one, two, six, and seven, single crochet. Now we want to work a half double crochet into the skipped stitch of round 91, working in front of the chain one of last round. So a half double crochet in that skipped stitch. So we're going to skip the chain one and the single crochet at the base of the spoke and working into the stitches of the spoke We're going to make a back loop only single crochet in these next four stitches. We want to make sure that our tension is not tight on these as we will be working into the back of these stitches in a later round. So that's two, three, and four. In that marked chain two at the top of the spoke, we will work four single crochet and we can remove the stitch marker. So one, two, three, and four single crochet worked into that chain two with the top of the spoke. Back loop only single crochet in the next four stitches on the other side of the spoke. So that's two, three, and four back loop only single crochet. We'll skip the single crochet at the base of the spoke, work a half double crochet in that skip stitch of round 91, working in front of the chain one of round 92. So we'll skip that chain space behind, working in each of the next seven stitches, we'll place a single crochet. One, two, five, six, and seven single crochet. In the next stitch, which should be the second stitch of those three double crochet, we will place two single crochet. And then we'll repeat that again, starting with those seven single crochet. So single crochet in seven stitches. Six and seven single crochet. Half double crochet in the skip stitch of round 91, working in front of round 92. Skip the chain one and the single crochet. Back loop only single crochet in the four stitches of the spoke, keeping our single crochet a bit loose. Four single crochet. Four single crochet in that marked chain two at the top of the spoke. Removing our stitch marker. So I have one, oops, two, three, and four single crochet. And then four back loop only single crochet coming down the other side of the spoke a bit loose. Skip the single crochet, half double crochet in the skip stitch of round 91, working in front of the chain of round 92. Skip that chain behind, single crochet in the next seven stitches. That's three, four, six, and seven. Two single crochet in that next stitch, ready to start the repeat again. 
So I've worked two repeats with you. You want to do that a total of 12 times down the side and I'll meet you at that spot. So when we've worked those 12 repeats down the side, the 12th repeat only has the seven single crochet after that last spoke. We do not do the two single crochet in the next. That was part of the other repeats. So then we've reached the corner again. So we'll work that single crochet in the chain two corner space, chain two, single crochet in the same space for our new corner, and then ready to work our repeats again down the side. So you can go ahead and finish all the sides for this round, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round. Round 94, we're using color A, and we will start in any of the chain two corner spaces. We will place a double crochet in that corner space, chain two, and double crochet in that same space. Double crochet in the next two stitches, being careful to work in the first stitch of the side. Half double crochet in the next three stitches. And single crochet in the next three. Chain four. This chain four will go behind the spoke. We're going to skip that half double crochet before the spoke, skip the spoke, skip the half double crochet after the spoke, and then starting in that next single crochet, we will single crochet in three stitches. Half double crochet in three. Double crochet in the next. And then each of these next two stitches that are worked in the same stitch will place two double crochet in each of those. So two double crochet in that first single, two double crochet in that second single. Double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three, single crochet in the next three. So starting with that chain four that went behind the spoke, we will repeat that a total of 11 times and I'll join you at that spot. So when you've worked those 11 repeats, we will have arrived at the last spoke. So we will work that chain four again that goes behind the spoke, skipping the half double crochet on either side We'll single crochet in that next single and the next two. So that's three single crochet, half double crochet in each of the next three. That's one, two, and three half double crochet, and then double crochet in the last two stitches. Ready to start again with our corner stitches of double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that corner space, double crochet in the first two stitches, half double crochet in three, single crochet in three, and then ready to work those repeats again with the chain four and the various stitches in between the spokes. So again, you can work that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round. Round 95, the final round for this part, we're going to be using color E. 
there are um, some stitches and counts on this round that may appear to be illogical, but trust the pattern, it will work out for later rounds. So we're going to start in any chain two corner space with a single crochet, and we'll make a second single crochet before we chain three and two more single crochet all in that same corner space. Two single crochet, chain three, two single crochet. We'll skip this first stitch and then single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So that's two, three, four, six and seven single crochet and we'll skip that last stitch before the spoke so we're going to make a front loop treble together with a third loop only single crochet so the first part is a treble crochet so we're going to yarn over twice So in this last front loop of round 91, we will, before the spoke, we will insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on our hook. And then working in so we're going to skip the half double crochet before the spoke and the first two back loop only single crochet on the spoke. And then in this third single crochet on the back, there's an extra loop. You can see how it sort of pops up there. So we have our two top loops roll the stitch over and there's an extra loop on the back so i've inserted my hook in there and i'll pull up a loop three loops on my hook yarn over pull through all three loops so that's for our front loop treble with a single crochet two together stitch so in the next single crochet in that extra loop or that third loop on the back, we will place a single crochet. And again, we want to be careful not to be too tight on these so we can work in that third back loop in another round as well. In the next single crochet, we will place two of these third loop only singles. Then in each of the next two stitches, we'll put one third loop only single crochet. And then in the next stitch in that third loop on the back, we will work two single crochet. So the first set of two singles was in the first single of the group of four at the top of the spoke. Then we had two singles by themselves. And then this last set of two single crochet in the same stitch was in that fourth single across the top of the spoke. And then we will make one more back loop, third back loop, single crochet. And then we're going to reverse that two together stitch. So starting in the next single crochet, we'll insert in that third back loop to pull up a loop, then yarn over twice, come down to round 91, finding that first um, free loop just past that half double crochet of the spoke to insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three for that two together stitch. Now, if you find it really difficult to work in the third back loop of the single crochet, you can work regular back loop only single. It'll have a slightly different look than what you see on mine and in the pattern. 
<clears throat> so back on round 94, we want to skip these first two single crochet after the spoke, single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two. six and seven single crochet and that should be finishing in those first of the two double crochet worked in one stitch so in the second stitch of that first set of two double crochet then we see the next set of two double crochet worked into one stitch we want to be working in between these groups of two double crochet so in that space, you can see here, being careful to go under that third extra loop, we will work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. We're going to skip that next stitch, which is sort of hidden by the stitches we just worked and then we're ready to begin that repeat again. So the repeat starts with the single crochet in our next seven stitches. I'm just gonna pause there so you can see what we've worked so far. So I've started the second repeat with that single crochet in each of the next seven. We're going to skip that last single crochet before the spoke, work that front loop treble, working down on round 91 in the last stitch before that half double crochet before the spoke. Pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, leaving two loops on the hook. We'll skip that half and the next two singles on the spoke in the third single on that third back loop, insert, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. Third back loop only, single crochet in the next stitch. I skipped one there, there it is. and then two single crochet in that next stitch in that third back loop, which should be the first of the four single crochet at the top of the spoke. One third loop only single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then two third loop only single in the next, which should be the fourth single of that group of four at the top of the spoke one single crochet in that third back loop of this next stitch. Now, if you get to a stitch that is difficult to insert, you can find a smaller hook or a darning needle to lift that loop up a little bit. To just stretch that third back loop a bit to insert your hook you finish that single crochet. Then in the next stitch, insert and pull up our loop, then yarn over twice, come back to round 91, finding that next free loop past that half double crochet. Insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, yarn over, pull through all three. Skip two single crochet, on 94 and single crochet in the next seven of 94. One, two, three, four, six, and seven. And then in that space between the groups of two double crochet, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, skip that first stitch and then ready to start the next repeat. So I've worked two repeats with you. You want to do that 
a total of 11 times and then single crochet in each of the last stitches of the side. So I'll join you just before the next corner. So after you've worked the 11 repeats down the side, we will end with the seven single crochet in the last seven stitches. Work the corner again, which is the two single crochet, chain three, two single crochet, and ready to repeat around all sides. And once you've finished that, you'll join to the starting stitch and fasten off. Then I'll meet you back here again next time for part 14.